Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the jQuery at function. Um, the way I say it is a bit odd, I guess, but it looks like this. It's short for attribute. Um, I guess it's not really a function, it's an attribute part of jQuery. However, it is used to take specific parts of an element, uh, attributes of an element, and actually relay them or store them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a link, and with this link we're going to retrieve the href and the target. So if we were to go ahead and just create some paragraph tags, I'm going to create a link inside here. Now remember href is an attribute of this A element, and as well target is also an attribute. So we can use jQuery to return the values of attributes as they're currently set. So in this example, we're looking at taking the attribute href and target, which might seem pretty pointless, uh, but obviously you can make use with this on any attribute. So I'm gonna create a link just in here, and then I'm gonna create a target as well, which will be underscore blank, uh, which essentially means to open in a new window. I'm then gonna give the link text as a link. So let's go over to our browser and take a look. You can see that we've just got a link here. When we click on it, we'll be taken to the URL we specified. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just below this, create another paragraph area. And I'm going to call this, um, I'm gonna give this an ID of Atra, just so we, uh, so we know what we're doing. We also need to give the ID to href. We could just, um, we could just refer uh, when we actually take the value uh, as a, we don't need to supply an ID. However, I'm just gonna su supply an ID so we take it specifically from this link. Okay, so I'm gonna just call this link. So now that we've got link, we want to take the attribute href, and then later on we're gonna take the attribute target, and we're gonna place it inside this paragraph area here. So we need to create an external JavaScript file. So let's go ahead and open up a new file. We're gonna save this inside our JS directory as atra.js. Um, I'm going to come over to index.php and I'm going to come down and include this file into my uh, page. So the type is text forward slash JavaScript. The source is JS forward slash atra.js. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to go over to atra.js and actually take this href and place it inside this paragraph tag. So let's go ahead and simply reference our link, so link dot atra, so we're using the atra attribute in jQuery, and we want to supply what attribute we want to take from this link. So I'm gonna call that href, or reference href, so we take the href. So now we need to save this inside of a value so we can relay it back to the page. So I'm gonna create a variable, and I'm gonna call this atra. So now what's happened is this variable here contains this value in here. So now what we can simply do is come down to the next line. We can reference the paragraph, which I have called atra. And I'm gonna say dot text atra. So I'm replacing this variable inside, uh, inside this text um, function, which is going to take um, take this value here and actually place it inside of this um, paragraph. So let's go over and refresh the page and you'll see that the link has been displayed from this link here. So we've successfully taken the attribute. We can then go ahead and perhaps change this to target, save that out, refresh our browser and you can see that we've got blank. So I guess this example could be useful if you had, for example, a collection of links on a page and you wanted to display the URL next to them. Um, I guess this is an, uh, a good example with the method or the example I've given in the tutorial. Uh, but obviously using Atra, you can actually take attributes of almost any HTML element. So we can go ahead and take um, attributes of um, divs, attributes of form fields, uh, to get their value even. Um, so there's, you know, a sort of an endless supply of ways you could actually use this. However, for now, that's the Atra attribute in jQuery.